want to get a message out to somebody. What do I got to do? Text. Text, right? And as opposed to doing what? A letter, right? So imagine years ago, people used to write letters. Now, we do instant message. What's better? Instant messaging? Uh, let me ask you a question. Writing a letter, is it formal or informal? Or impersonal? Personal. Personal, okay. Personal. So writing a letter is very personal. Instant message is what? Not personal. Not personal, impersonal, right? That's true. Now, years ago they used to write a letter, right? Now we text message. Does text messaging have its own language now? Yes. Yeah, right? For example, if I wanted to say, uh, I'll be there soon, how would I write that? I. Um, I. Alright, I. Space. Space, what? And then B. There, T H E R E. And then instead of saying soon, you write S N. And that translates into, I'll be there soon, right? Uh, instead of saying, uh, I bought this for you, instead of saying for, what do I write? The number. Four. The number four, right? So, this instant messaging has its own. Let me ask you a question. Amongst your friends, do you have like special things you guys text that only each other knows? Secret language. Like secret language, right? So the idea is students have like a secret language that they text. Like if your teacher is there, right? And they say, give me your phone. What are you writing? <laughs> <laughs> They'll look at it like, <laughs> they won't understand it, right? So isn't that's what a lot of students do, trust me, I know, okay? So they have a whole special code. So instant messaging is really cool because let's say, for example, you got to get a message to mom and dad, you just text them right away as opposed to finding and calling them, right? How many people, you guys are how old? Almost 10 years old, right? How many people have ever used a pay phone? I've seen some. Anybody ever take a quarter and actually, you said you've seen some? Okay, like the dinosaurs, okay? Doing it. How many, yeah, you ever use one? Yeah. Right, but what has replaced Pay phones. Cell phone. Cell phone. Who doesn't have a cell phone? Everybody has a cell phone, right? No, I don't. You don't have a cell phone? No, my grandma and my grandpa don't have a cell phone. Yeah, well, they just said it. Your grandma <laughs> and your grandpa, they probably still write what? Letters. Yeah. Letters, right? If you told grandma and grandpa, I'll catch you on Skype in the morning, they'll look at you <laughs> like you're what? You're crazy. They think you're disrespecting you on Skype. Right. So the idea is, the idea is grandma. grandma and grandpa, they don't Skype. They don't instant message. Why? They don't know. Maybe they don't know, or maybe they don't want to know, right? Because they like doing things the way they know, right? You guys grew up in a time where this is it, instant messaging, right? When your kids grow up, they'll probably be something new, right? So All think right. about it like that. So what we're saying is letters no longer yes. exist. People don't write anymore. Now they instant message. If you're not instant messaging, let's say you got to send something even longer. What do you write? A uh, You write a... Uh, you would, if you, instead of writing a long letter, you could write a long email. Very good. You write a long email. Okay? Now, what's really cool about having an email address? Do you have to pay for it? No. Not really. But do you have to pay for a mailbox in the post office? Yeah. Yeah, right? So, what's cheaper? Email. Email. The only problem with email, though, is in addition to getting the stuff that's important, you get the bad stuff, too, right? Yeah. And one of those emails may contain a virus. That's why you always have to have your Norton and your McAvee on point. Okay? So keep that in mind. So instant message. Now, 